So we're here at Under Armour and um, we've had a great day of meetings. I think the best part about today is going to be what's getting ready to happen. I'm going to surprise uh, someone who's very, very special. Her name is Ellie. So I think uh, as we're following the Ellie Mark story, Ellie has had military mentors her entire life. My dad was maintenance at a VA hospital for my whole life, so I had a hundred grandpas in my mind. And I loved all these people and they had all served. So it was no surprise that uh, in 2008, 2009 is when you enlisted in the United States Army. Ellie deployed at 19 years old. Just one year later, while serving in Iraq, Ellie was seriously injured. I became a swimmer on accident. I wanted to stay fit for service, and so I started swimming to stay in shape so that I could pass my PT requirements and stay as a combat medic. Ellie was a natural. I started competing about a month after I learned how to swim. The challenge of swimming is what drew Ellie in, but the symptoms of her injuries lingered. I mean, you talk about procedures and surgeries and pain medication and doctor's visits. She came uh, ultimately to the decision to have her left leg amputated. Like swimming, the amputation was just another challenge to overcome. Nothing could stop her now. Within like a week, she was in the gym uh, working out and pumping iron. Within six weeks, she was fitted with her prosthetic leg and learning how to walk again. I love the uphill climb. Swimming six days a week and training in the gym four days on top of that, she doesn't believe in excuses. I love training, I love the grind. Ellie has spent her entire life defying the odds. Today, she is one of the best Paralympic swimmers in the world. But searching for gold is Elizabeth Marks, the 26-year-old United States Army Sergeant, a former combat medic, ranked number one in the world in this event. In 2016, Ellie won a gold medal at the Invictus Games, which was two years after she woke up from a coma in a hospital. Elizabeth Marks, after the presentation of her fourth gold medal, offering it is a token of gratitude to the founder of the Invictus Games, Prince Harry. He declined, but then Elizabeth Marks just was not going to be turned down. She's so selfless that she gave the medal back to him and told him, give this to the hospital that saved my life. Every single obstacle has been an opportunity, whether it's being at risk youth or getting injured in Iraq or going on to life support in London or having my amputation. It's all taught me so much more than it's taken from me. Before we uh, let everybody go here, one more thing. Um, I'm going to pull it up right now. All right, so this message goes to the UA. Meet you, Ellie. It's a, such a pleasure to meet you. I wanted to, uh, I wanted to meet you personally, and I wanted to let you know how much I admire you, like I uh, admire many of you here in this room. And um, and your accomplishments, dude, are just really the coolest. I have a little surprise for you. This is Kevin Plank, ladies and gentlemen. He is the founder of this great company. I would like to bring out uh, Brian Stortz. Thank you. Brian is from Flags of Valor. This flag is inspired by an article that I read up on you about the things you carry. You talked about scars, right? We all have scars and endured scars, and, and you obviously have had some. The wood represents that for us. It is old wood from a barn. It's battle-worn. It is imperfectly perfect, just like you are. Another thing that I know is very near and dear to you is service and dog tags. But I also know there's something really special and unique that you carry around. You've carried around since day one from... James Marks, your father. I know you carry his. If you ever lose yours, your dad's dog tag's always there for you. I know how near and dear and, and how grateful you are, right? DJ talks about respect and honor and gratitude, and there's a reason the Brahma Bull's in the middle, and we melted it down and forged that out of steel from a missile tube of an aircraft that I flew on an operation. Another thing that I know is uh, really dear to you is, is gratitude and, and, and especially the, you know, the gold medal, the Invictus Games, what that meant to you, all the people that have helped you and all the hospitals and all the things that you've endured. 
So I wanted to put something special on the back for you. So if you guys could flip that around real quick. Mason told me that one of your biggest inspirations was the Invictus poem. So we had that inlaid into the back. There is a... <laughs> thank you. This is amazing. Like DJ and I like... One last thing, uh, Ellie, we know how important Fisher House is to you um, as a foundation. So we at UA Freedom and Project Rock are very proud to partner with Fisher House and make a um, nice donation uh, in your name and in your family's name. The Fisher House gives and gives and gives and they never ask for anything back. And they have become our family and they have become so important to so many. Today was very special. It's very encouraging to see a brand that puts so much love and effort into veterans. Having The Rock to be our champion, have him stand up for a demographic that doesn't always get heard to give us that voice. It's nice to know that even when people are, are that successful, they can remember that there are people that look up to them and that their word means a lot. And myself, Project Rock, and Under Armour proudly salute her. Thank you, Ellie, for your selfless service and sacrifice.